Hi everyone, it's Beaching Nails. Today I'm going to show you guys a new technique and we call this Beach Sun Spray. There's lots of different variations you can do with this simple technique and if you'd like to learn, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Beaching Nails. Today I have a new trick to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I created this look. I went ahead and I painted one coat of Funky Fingers White and I applied liquid latex around my skin area. And for this technique, you're going to be using some markers. I have fuchsia pink, a blue, and a yellow. A makeup sponge, and 91% rubbing alcohol, and a spray bottle. Now I went ahead and I already put my markers on a makeup sponge. And all you're going to do is spritz it with your alcohol and then apply it as if you're doing a gradient on your nail. That simple. This also works on top of a stamper head. You can put the colors in random spots on your makeup sponge and apply it to your nail that way. You can add more alcohol to get more of the ring effects. And this is the Manny that I created. I mean, it is literally almost like a perfect gradient, and I got all those extra colors. This one is going to need one more coat, and then I went ahead and I matted it. Okay, I went ahead and I added a second coat of marker on my sponge. I'm going to spritz it again, and then go back once again on my nail. Look at that. I have like a pink, an orange, a yellow, a green, and a blue. And that is all that I have on my sponge. Now you can do it any which direction you want. Those little bits and pieces there, that is from the sponge. Once this all dries, you can brush that off. Now for this meaning, I used Bundle Monster XL22. I use this image right here. On my nails here, what I actually ended up doing was I double stamped them. I started out with white. And I didn't think the white was showing so great, so I went ahead and I stamped over that in black. So that's why you see a shadowing effect. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my polish scrape, which I love my new Bundle Monster scraper. Pick it up on my stamper. And I went ahead and we stamped once. I'm going to clean my plate and we're going to go over it again with black. Clean my stamper head here. And black. Now some of you ask what black am I using. I also use Funky Fingers Black. Give it a scrape. And stamped right over it. And because I kept my liquid latex on, I can go ahead and peel it off. And then I have little to no cleanup. Now what I do for cleanup, a little trick, is I use a Q-tip and 91% alcohol, and that's just so I don't dry out my skin too much with acetone. And that's it. That's my Manny. That's how I created it. Get your Sharpie markers out, your makeup sponge, and put some of your 91% in a spray bottle. And you guys have fun. Take care. Hang 10. Bye-bye. Alrighty, as you know, you can make and create gradients with a base with this technique. You can do it vertical. You can do it horizontal. Another cool thing about this, you do not have to use a sponge. Here is a swatch stick with me doing it on top of my stamper. And no, it does not stain my stamper. I am using the Fabio Nails stamper right here. And I use makeup sponges, to be honest, 
They are coming from the dollar store. They're cheap. They're affordable. Um, as you can see, here is some of my scraps. I have been using this like you wouldn't believe, this little trick. And what I went ahead and did, I wanted to show you, I discovered another thing you can do with beach sun spray. What is that? Well, we're going to stamp with it. You know, the other night I was just messing around, and this is what happens when I leave junk all over my desk. The wheel starts to spin. And here on this swatch stick here, this is actually from plates Queen, or I'm sorry, this is H-E-H-E-13. This image right here, it's on a black nail, and I stamped it in white. And look, you can see the color. I did it again here on a black nail, stamped it in white, and also here. The difference between this one, this one is with a shiny, right here, this one is with shiny. And the other one, I wanted to put a mat on it. I wanted to see if it's going to smear. I do a lot of testing before I come out with a video to share stuff with you guys because I want to make sure it works great for you. So we're going to start from the beginning. And right now, I have my nails painted. I painted them black. I left one blank here just to show you. And the image I chose this time was my Align Shop MJ17. And I'm going to be using this image right here. Now for stamping polish, I am just using right now Funky Fingers. And this is a great way, if you guys don't have every color in stamping polishes, here you go. Not to mention, you can get a beautiful gradient, even for coloring in on your stamping. Picks up. I cannot stamp down. I stamp in the air. I apologize for that. Transfer is great. Move this out of the way. Now, most of you already know I've done a video on it. How I clean up my excess here is I take a Q-tip, which I get these from the dollar store, and I have a little dispenser here that I have 91% rubbing alcohol in. And I just load it up, and it comes right off. If I've got a lot on my skin, I'll do tape. But as you can see, when I stamp, I don't have that much excess for me to be laying down liquid latex or anything like that. This takes nothing to clean up. And whatever I can't get in between there, I'll come in with my cleanup brush and acetone. But I just want to get most of it off with rubbing alcohol just so it doesn't totally dry out my cuticles because as you guys can see I do my nails a lot all right what is the trick you may say well it's the same thing it's markers same way as before you're going to take the markers I'm going to use yellow and kind of like a pink magenta and I'm going to put it on my sponge here. And again, just random. Areas. And where did he go? Grab your spray bottle. 91% alcohol in here. And I am going to spray. Let's go ahead and we are going to dab. Now I'll be honest, I was a little hesitant on this image only because it was a lot of white. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Now I can let that dry for a second, do a second coat again if I wanted it even super darker. But what I like about this, if you can't see in the video, it's not going on my black polish. Look at that. 
Now you may ask, okay, well, you got marker on your skin. How are you going to get it off? Uh huh? Again, grab your 91% alcohol and a Q-tip, or you can use a clean-up brush and clean it right off. See it on the Q-tip? Comes right off. No staining. It's amazing sometimes how acetone you think is going to remove it and it doesn't budge, but yet simple rubbing alcohol will take it right off. I'm going to go ahead and finish this mani up and I'll have a picture for you guys. You guys take care and I can't wait to see your guys' mani using the beach sun spray. Alrighty, you guys, take care. Hang 10. Bye bye.